Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop with another uh, repaired part we're doing for a tractor. It's that time of year. They're harvesting, I think it's wheat around here. It's some kind of grass. So, had a farmer bring this by. Well, one of his guys brought it by. I have no idea what this goes to. There's like a, it's rusty in there, like there was a shaft in there. Like this supported something. There's no set screw or anything like that. But our job, this is roughly one inch, 9.53. He wants this outside here turned to an inch and a half. Then his guy said he wants this cleaned up with a skimming pass and you gotta a lot of people don't now this looks pretty flat i mean it looks obviously it was cut on a machine you know people will come here and say oh just take a light skim just to true it up and all that well sometimes on a light trim can be you know 25 thou but so i called him to see if this was a critical dimension before I took a pass on there. I mean, I'll, I'll shine it up, but I do want to take a pass. And there's some, I can feel, I don't know if something spins on top of this or something, but I can feel a few little things in there. And he said, no. He said, even if I ended up taking like a, a 16th or of an inch off, that'd be no problem. So that's what we'll do. Of course, we're going to clean it up just with a wire brush real quick so we can chuck it up indicate it you know as best we can here this it's not gouged it's just rough so we'll clean off this scale again so i'll get it cleaned up and we'll get set up in the lathe and i'll bring you back okay we got the part in the forge jaw. starting to uh dial it in here you can probably see we got about 10 thou off so, mm -hmm. and about five there. Now, we're down to within one. That'll be plenty good for what this part is. That's a good, good uh, place to start from. So, now I'll set you up. We'll bring the uh, carriage over and we'll uh, begin turning it down. I'll bring you back. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clean this face up got my tool holder in there it's the one with the, the big triangle insert <laughs> they're touching here it's very light skim cuts hopefully we don't have to take much off this helps if you auto feed the uh, cross slide the right way.
Much, much better. I ended up taking a, uh, a dialed in 40 thou. Took that off. After talking to the guy about this length, and that cleaned it right up. There was, I don't know if I showed you, but there was two or three really deep nicks in it. So that's about what I had to do to get that up. So okay, I'm gonna swing, uh, change the tool bit a bit, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're set up for the turning part of it now. Let me get a rough measurement. And we'll use a micrometer as we get closer. So we're at one nine forty-four. Trying to hit an inch and a half. So touch off. Take a quick pass here. I'm gonna see if I can set the camera up so you can watch it from the side, maybe. Okay, we're set up for the turning. Let's take some cuts here. I'm going to square that shoulder up a little bit too. I'll just do that by hand. Right, power to get close. Feed it in just a bit. I'm hand feeding right now. Five, eight. So we'll start working her down. So I'll get most of it knocked down and I'll bring you back. Okay, got the turning done. Um, came out good. It's a uh, thou under, which is perfectly acceptable for what we're doing here. Um, the guy is on, <laughs> I was going to film more of me dialing it in, but the guy's on his way to get this. So it's kind of a get it done for him. So I'm just gonna file the take a file here and break the edges. And what I guess there's a sleeve. 
Yeah, let me cut that to an inch and a half, and then there's a sleeve that goes in there. Whatever this goes into was damaged. Um, so this is what he wanted. So let me clean this up real quick. Okay, let's pull it out of the machine. What did I do with the key? Come here. And again, it is the inside shop thermometer says it's 112 degrees in here. And I believe it. Ooh, she's a little toasty. Let me zoom out here. Come away. There we go. Wipe the... Let me take you over to the bench. Okay, we're back over here. I wiped the moisture off the lens. There we go. Came out good. I sent him pictures with my calipers on it, showing him all the dimensions. Well, I sent his mechanic pictures. He says that's exactly what they wanted. I asked him, this was rusty in here. I don't know how much that shows up. Well, you can see it's dark in there. I asked if he wanted me to take a ream, you know, drill it down a little bit or put a reamer in there. No, he said leave it exactly how it is. I did forget to ask the mechanic guy what it was for. But it obviously retains a shaft of some sort. It almost looks like the bottom retaining shaft for a butterfly valve. Yep. Their mechanic was happy with all the pictures. And the guy is on his way and he'll be out the door. Again, if you guys like seeing these little repair videos, this is the kind of stuff I get. And if you open a shop one day, a job shop, you know, not every project is big and involved. Sometimes it's just, a lot of it's just turning stuff down. And like today, I wanted to show you guys a few more steps, but it's, it's harvest time, so customers want their stuff. Okay, uh, coming up this weekend, I think I have a weld build-up video on ugh, the shaft going through here. I'll see how bad it is. It was dropped off. I haven't taken it apart yet, but the bearing seized in there and spun on the shaft. So we'll see about fixing that. And of course, stuff like that, you balance the cost of a new part over the machine time. So I like to save, I don't like to spend people's money. If it's cheaper for them to order a part, I'll just have them order the part. So, so yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.